festivals on the planet. It's the Armenian Food Bazaar here in San Francisco. It's just getting warmed up. Thousands of people are coming. It's about the food, the history, and the culture. Armenia is not about the Kardashians, people. It's so much more than that, and I'm going to show you right now. I'm here with Elizabeth. She's with the Armenian National Committee. Nice to see you, Elizabeth. Pleasure to see you. Now, I've been fascinated about Armenian culture because I grew up with Armenians in San Francisco, but sure. people don't really know who are the Armenian people. Who would you say the Armenian people are? Oh, our, the Armenians have a very, very rich 5,000-year history wow. coming from the land of Noah, uh, surrounding Mount Ararat, where Noah landed. Amazing. And uh, as, as the country grew, it became the first Christian na nation, adopting Christianity in 301 AD. It had its Back own... in 301 AD. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And here in the United States, we've had Armenian Americans coming all the way since the 1600s in Jamestown, Virginia. Wow! Absolutely. So they've really been a part of American history, the Armenian people. How many Armenians would you say are in the United States right now? We probably have about a million and a half Armenians throughout the United States, with the largest population in California itself. You know, we had uh, Armenians actually came first as a result of the Armenian genocide right. from 1915 to 1923. So they fled the genocide and most of them came here, right? They did come to the United States and the United States was extremely generous. If there is some, if there are things that affect people's lives that Armenians have had a hand in, can you describe anything that people might take for granted and not know that it's because of Armenians coming to the United States? Oh, there's no shortage of things. Yeah, uh, I'd the, love to hear. Uh, just... So, uh, the ATM was actually uh, uh, invented by an Armenian. The MRI machine, Damadian, was, uh, uh, was invented by an Armenian. Okay, so the ATM machine, the MRI machine, what else? Oh my goodness, uh, people call uh, your can the candy bar uh, mounds in Almond Joy. Oh, I love that. Almond Joy mounds. Uh, awesome. Made by Armenians. Uh, the asthma inhaler, uh, first put together by an Armenian. The automatic transmission, uh, put, put together by an Armenian. We're in every level of industry. As I mean, and they've been here for so long that we actually owe a lot to the Armenian community for really putting their mark on our society, the way we do things. Well, I'm totally looking forward to this festival. Is there any highlights that you recommend to get oh. started with? First of all, the food is phenomenal here. Okay, I can't and, wait to try. Uh, the team is going to be uh, walking you through all of that. There's wonderful culture and art sections here, uh, from painting to uh, uh, sculptures and whatnot. There's a great uh, amount of work done from Armenia that they bring here to share the culture as it's done right in the homeland. Can't wait to look at it all. Okay, well, thank you so much, oh, Elizabeth. Pleasure. Thank pleasure you so meeting. much. Thank you. Hey, you know what's so cool about these festivals is that you walk in and you feel like you're in another country. So I don't need a plane ticket to Armenia right now. I feel like I'm in Armenia at a bazaar where all these goodies are laid out before me. And I've got a guide too. Uh, her name is Savannah Panosian and she's a local, she's a foodie. And tell me, I mean, I'm seeing all this good stuff over here. This is the heart of what Armenians are known for in California, the California raisins. The raisin industry began with Armenian farmers in the 1860s. Okay. And there's a few treats here that are specifically very popular in the culture. Like One this. being this called rojik, rojik. which is walnuts uh -huh. that's dipped in a mixture of grape juice and cornstarch. Okay. And so there's a string in the middle. Okay. And the way this is served, it's absolutely delicious. Um, it's sliced very thinly, and you kind of put it on a platter with, say, dried apricots, which are also, by the way, the phylum name is Prunus armeniaca. So if oh you want God. an Armenian food, eat an apricot. Uh, Armenians invented apricots, guys. Yes. Did you know that? Yes, I we mean, did. It's mind blown. Thank you. So she's got a sample. Let's get a close up here. So this is like a cross section. See that? And they have a couple other flavors in Armenia too. This, but the most popular one being the one with grape juice. This is grape juice. Grape it's juice delicious. Okay. You're gonna love it. Oh wow! It's just chewy and nutty and. Uh, oh my gosh! I know. It's like a like a thick fruit roll-up, like kind of grapey. 
The walnuts like nutty and crunchy. Oh my god, it's I can amazing. eat this. This is dangerous, girl. I can this eat this whole thing. This is comfort food. So how do we say this? Basta. Basta. This, Basta. we're proud to say, is the original fruit roll. Basta is grape juice that's been pressed and rolled. It looks almost like phyllo when you touch it. I mean, it. look at this. This is beautiful because when you buy a fruit roll from the store, it's usually neon colored. Yeah. And no. fruit is not neon colored, people. This is the real this deal. Is, this is what fruit really looks this like. This is the real deal. And it's totally so natural soft. and organic. It's, it's really so soft. It's, not, it's organic, yes. too. Yes. So, um, what is the occasion in which people. Is this like you pack this in this, Armenian kids' I lunches? I pack this in my daughter's uh, lunch. I get so fat if I were an Armenian. Oh, yeah, oh girl. No, it's, this reminds me, my grandmother used to hand make these too, so there's some similarities absolutely, in culture. Absolutely. Except hers was not this soft. Like, look at this, guys. But let's talk about the differences in these raisins. Well, um, this looks like autumn. I mean, it just reminds me of fall or autumn color. They're so pretty. These are your basic crimson ra raisins. Those are my favorite. These golden raisins are absolutely flavorful. And the thing I'll about this is when you cook them, they expand. Nice. And it's just this beautiful color that it gives to porridge or um, like if a child's first tooth comes out, we have a, celebra a celebration called Adam Hadik or Agra Hadik, where there's raisins and sweet nuts and berries mixed in with this, and it just oh, gives it a golden so color. So the kid gets their first tooth oh, and yeah. they start eating these raisins. sugar. I want to be an Armenian kid. This is your basic sun-dried raisins. Wow. And when I make dolmas or sarmas, which we'll eat after, you place these either this one or the sour ones on top while it's cooking and it gives it this amazing flavor. Hopefully now you know a little more about Armenian culture and people. But in my next video, I try to sample every Armenian delicacy in one day at the festival. It is a mega drool fest right here on Feast in the Middle East. This is the mother of all food festivals. Yeah.